On starry nights when the moon is full and the air still, you can hear the sounds of faraway ships and distant laughter. They echo all over the hills and through the valley, down calm canals and sleepy inlets. Every engine knows that these are the sounds that say the harbour is hard at work at the big station by the sea. One night, a special load of fish was ordered. The fat controller decided that extra vans must be added to the train that the men call the Flying Kipper. The only vans available were old ones. They had not been used for a long time. Henry waited impatiently by the quayside as Duck shunted them into position. Thomas puffed by with the mail train. Puff Duck. Puff Thomas, remembering his own experience. Henry grunted dreadfully. Said his driver. Meanwhile, Duck was waiting at Edward Station so that he could help the heavy train by pushing from behind. Henry made good progress. When they reached Edward Station, his driver stopped the train beyond the platform. Then Henry gave a special signal. Replied Duck. Duck buffered gently up to Henry's train. He was not coupled on. Henry would then be able to run on without stopping when they reached the top of the hill. Whistled Duck. And off they set. Soon they reached Gordon's Hill. Puffed Henry. Replied Duck. Henry was pulling his train harder than he realised. Duck felt the weight of his buffers slacken. Then Duck noticed something else. He puffed. He whistled, but there was no reply. Meanwhile, Henry noticed something too. He thought to himself. Then there was trouble. No one was hurt, but a strong smell of fish hung in the air. Next day, workmen found the broken tail lamp at the bottom of the hill. The fat controller spoke kindly to Duck. Said Duck sadly.